Excuse me. This is nice, isn't it? When was the last time we did this? Yeah, there's a fair amount of talent here tonight. Karen? What? You said that this would be a girls' night. It is. I mean, it's my birthday and you said... Yeah, of course. You said that we would stick together and not go off with anyone. I know. So you're not going to go off with anyone? No. Nope. Because we can have a laugh together, can't we? Yeah. So we're just going to stick together, that's the plan. Yes! So tonight you're not going to pull any blokes whatsoever and go off with them? No! I'll see you later, Louis. I'm just going to fuck these blokes up all. Have a large dono, please, with um, extra chilli sauce and garlic sauce. And no tomato, please. Or onions. Or lettuce, or cabbage, or anything but meat. Do you have curry sauce? No, it's OK. She's done it again. I just hit my kebab stolen. What? Oh, my God, that's terrible. He just actually just ran up there. Are you OK? No, I'm not OK. I'm really upset. He just snatched it. What a bastard. That's... I can't believe you just had your bag stolen. I didn't have my bag stolen. I, I thought you said you'd had your bag stolen. My kebab. <laughs> what? I just... A man has just stolen my belongings. Your kebab. Yeah, my property. Your kebab. Louise, you weren't here. You didn't experience the crime. Crime? So what are you going to do, call the police? Yes, I am. Would all officers please drop everything they're doing and put out an all-points bulletin on a large donica... It was all meat, wasn't it, love? You're making fun of me, aren't you? I was frightened and, and, and shocked. I mean, doesn't that mean anything? Were you hurt? No, I wasn't hurt. Not physically, but he just clutched the the pit of pocket. He, he knew what he was doing. I think he's done this before. Right. Let me give you some advice. Go home, go to bed, sleep it off, wake up in the morning thanking your lucky stars I haven't arrested you for wasting police time, OK? Yeah, come on, Donna, let's go. I, I don't believe this. So he just... I mean, he just gets away with it, does he? Scot-free. So, so that's the world we're living in. I mean, someone tell me what is the difference between this and murdering an old lady for her pension? I mean, there is a difference. Of course it's different. It's completely different. But is it that different? Really? We're going home. Don't worry, we're going. Come on, Donna. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going, but I'll tell you what. My faith in this country is not what it was. A little piece of my innocence has died tonight. You have to Carl's. Why would I have to Carl's? You always go to Carl's when you're depressed. I'm not depressed, Louise. I just lost my faith in humanity. Anyway, I'm not going to go and see somebody who thinks I'm incapable of love. Donna, that's just what Tanya said. You can't trust a woman who gets her kids to lie about their age. Just talk to him. How can I talk to him if I'm not going around there? I'm just going for a walk. This whole thing has really got to me. I mean, I don't want to overplay this, but... I may never be able to trust another human being again. Hello. I'm Christopher. Right. Uh, I stayed last night. With Karen. You a friend of Karen's? Am I? I don't know, Christopher, am I? You tell me. You tell me what friendship is. So if I get some oats, Biggs? No, 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 come on. 
Come on, time to go. Let's move it. I'm just going to get some... If you want breakfast, grab an apple, eat on the move. You weren't supposed to fall asleep here anyway. Oh. OK. Do you want my number? No. I just thought we could maybe... I bet you did. Come on, shake a leg. Oh, look, I'm sorry. I'm just a bit... I'm not a morning person, Chris. To be honest, people give me the creeps in the morning. We had fun. I just don't think, you know, Chris, you do all that stuff, exchanging numbers. It's Christopher. Get out. shit enough about himself, Karen. Why don't you send him a quick text saying his mum's just died? What's got into you? What did you say? What did you promise me at the beginning of last night? I don't know. I never remember anything after 7.30. You promised me that we would stick together and not go off with any blokes. Yeah. Unless we really wanted to. Everyone knows that only applies if you don't pull. Well, I meant it. I meant it under any circumstances. Why didn't you say that, then? I did! I said it repeatedly. I spent all night saying it. I wrote it down on a beer mat and made you sign it. What is the big deal? If you got off with someone, I wouldn't have minded. I wouldn't have got off with someone. Well, obviously. It's not a solar eclipse. And can you stop doing that? Belittling me and making me feel shit about myself? Stop talking, Louise. I've got a hangover. Oh, you're mean. You know that. You're mean to that man and you're mean to me. You're mean to everyone. And that's why you've got a hangover. Because you're trying to distract yourself from the fact that you're a mean-spirited, alcoholic old slag. Look, you made me say that. You... No, no, it's fine. I mean, you were... Don't worry, Louise. Honestly, it's fine. I mean, as if I get upset about being called names by someone whose greatest achievement in life is carrying three plates at once. I've achieved things. You know where you are? Nowhere. You know where you're going? Nowhere. You know who you are? No one. Now, you may well say the same of me, but at least I know how to have a good time. I haven't seen you in a while. Where you been? Oh, uh, you know, big sneak in here. Did you fill up those shelves? Yeah, yeah, I, I did, actually. But then, um, they broke and smashed the... So I got Jamie round to do it properly. It's nice. It looks like a proper house. You all right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just had this weird thing last night. Oh, what happened? Well, all right, but look, don't laugh, OK? Because it was after the pubs had closed and I was having a kebab and this guy ran past and just grabbed it out of my hand. What? Yeah, he snatched it. He just stole it out of my hand. Well, did you call the police? Well, yes, I just... Are you making fun? No, I mean... What? This guy stole this kebab off you. Well, were you hurt? Well, no, but that's... That's not... not the point. It was a crime. I mean, what's the difference between that and snatching an old lady's purse? Well, it's a bit different. Well, yeah, it's different. Of course it's different. But is it really different? Well, that's what I said. And what did the police say? He laughed at me. He what? Jesus! Was it a large kebab? Yes, it was. I mean, I wasn't going to eat at all, but... That is... Despicable. That is... I mean, you're a woman on your own and this man steals something from you. All right, it was a kebab. But what does it have to be? A gold kebab before it's a crime? No, no, it doesn't. Definitely. Legally. Legally, I think all property's theft. Everyone was laughing. You're not laughing, are you? No. No. No, thanks, Carl. What for? Just understanding. Ah, oh, well, you know... Carl, when I was five, um, my mum made a run out of chicken wire uh, from my guinea pig in the, in the back garden, and I used to take it out there. And but one day, and this is in the heat wave, um, I forgot about it. I left it out there for eight hours, and it baked to death. By the time I remembered him, he looked like a hairy crab stick. I cried for three whole weeks. Right. Yeah. Well, look up. 